the county look quite healthy from a distance, but looks can be deceiving. A closer examination on this farm reveals what has been a nightmare to many farmers in 12 counties, the fall amiwam. Benedict Etabu desperately tends to his crop planted on three acres. His hope for a good harvest has been erased by what he terms as the worst ever infestation in his history as a farmer. Ukumu akaundu tunesenda asara. Kwa sababu miaka singine hizo zota ile nye likuwa tuna kama mwaka jana. Tulijaribu. Kwa sababu mwaka hii asa ninaona mwaka hii ni kama tutaanguke kwa sababu maindi imekuliwa na maindi ndio tegeme oletu. Etabu has used every pesticide he could think of, but none has managed to get rid of this worm that has seemingly grown resistant to available pesticides. Out of the usual 40 bags per acre harvest, he estimates to get at most 15 bags. Kufika mwesi wa tano hitu mwanzo mwanzo ni kienila ndawa tu, asa ikafika mali ni kaiwacha. Siku endelea kupiga maana siku wana kama dawe na uwa. Ile dawa ilibadilishi yako ni ile maafisa walikulete yako. Ikabadilishi yasi ndogo, lakini za ikubwa, ikubadilishi chote. We need to be able to rotate and advise farmers that you should not use the same chemical continuously, that in the next spray you rotate. So this has seemed to work in the Americas, but we need to know what to rotate with and what is available locally. According to researchers, the frequent use of stronger pesticides in the quest to break the fall armyworm cycle not only poses a health risk, but is also a risk to Kenya's exports due to the strict policies on chemical residues in the EU market. It's a potential risk, especially if the chemical we are using is burnt in another country. So we could be using a chemical that is not allowed. So if they detect traces of any of these chemicals in the produce that we are exporting, that is a risk. But even as researchers strive to find a long-term solution, it is clear that Kenya may face another maize shortage this season. So there are cultural methods that, are, that are, needs to be researched because all the things we are getting is either from literature or from people from outside. So we need to customize cultural methods, biological methods and mechanical methods to our environment. In Transoya County, for instance, out of the possible 5.5 million annual maize production, the county government expects production to fall by a whopping 70% if the fall armyworms are not contained. But if no further chemicals come in, because the county can only do so much, the devastation will go on. And we might even be talking of a million, I mean, a million bugs lost. The Transoya County government has spent 43 million shillings in fighting the worm with no tangible results. The deputy governor wants the scourge declared a national emergency. This one is tending towards a national disaster. disaster yeah. National disaster. Because in terms of food security, seed security, that is very devastating. So they can classify it yeah. along those lines. Transoya County alone needs 200 million shillings to deal with this deadly worm. Funds county officials say are not forthcoming from the national government. I would say we, had, we have been left on our own, uh, Your Excellency. Yeah. They are looking at counties as though they have the capacity to manage these emergencies. Emergencies are a national concern, and we have not seen that on a national concern. From one natural disaster to the other, Kenya's agriculture sector, and especially maize production, will definitely take longer to recover. Will the sector survive the latest wave of destruction by fall armyworms? Seasons will tell. Ruth Mutegi for Channel One in Transoya County. The Thursday morning incident leaves a cloud of uncertainty and